Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the stream. I am Razim, currently as Jet the Rockruff, and we're doing some Planet Zoo this evening while discussing a bit more about our Poke Roll session we just had, where Jet was, or Dart was about to share his big disappointment. Go ahead. Yeah, my biggest disappointment out of the entire combat encounter was I didn't actually make it to the other side just to see the reaction. Oh, honestly, the reaction would have been she would have run away. As soon as anybody had scaled that wall or broke it down or taken out uh, both servants or et cetera, et cetera, she would have run. Oh, no, I was just going to just like nonchalantly just walk around on that pile of rubble and just like hop down to be like, okay, bye. And just like keep on walking. And I just wanted to see what her reaction would have been. Her, her big, you know, you shall not pass basically stance just like foiled. I, I I was I was working towards that and I just didn't start working towards that soon enough. I don't know, I, I, I guess tonight I was in a mood just to cause misery. What do you mean? You were like, a bit of a stick in the mud. Well, they can rem remember, Dirt's a serious nature. He he's probably going to be the stick in the mud, unfortunately. It's or, fine. Or, or 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 maybe the pole in the mud, steel ground type. A lump uh, of metal in the mud. Yep. We should have made this out of a better building material. <laughs> yeah. And she so, just left him there. Yes, yeah, she did. <laughs> Don't. To be fair, none of you did anything with him either. <laughs> uh, so. Oh uh, yeah, I guess we could have done something with that. <laughs> you could have, but too late for that. So be honest. Who? Did not expect the trebuchet. Yeah, uh, the, was the, not. The, the trebuchet, <laughs> the cat. I, I look. My my reaction in the session was genuine. I'm just like, where the fuck did they get a trebuchet? <laughs> where the fuck did they get a cannon? Uh, after this is like, go ahead. After the trebuchet, I was like, okay, them having a cannon too. Fine. I okay. You all still got surprised though when your when your hidey hole got blown up. Go. Release the trebuchet. <laughs> I'm hoping somebody clipped that thing, and if not, somebody needs to go back and clip it, please. It's kind of like when when uh, we were doing the very first episode, right? It was just like rock, rock, log, log, skyscraper. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, it was. Like, what? Oh, hold up! Go back. <laughs> Oh, but it was trains. What's up? It was a very enjoyable session, regardless, though. Extremely. Yeah. I do try to make them as enjoyable for you all as I can. Though I will admit, my extra content has been tapped out now. I need to make more. So right now, all I've got is story content. I don't have anything on the side yet. I think we all could probably use a, actu a good story, though. Oh, I agree. Get back but it'll to obviously the... be up to you all to um to utilize it. 
Yeah. If you all get distracted, I can't help you. Look, I, I, at this point, I don't know if they are utilizing it or getting distracted with all that popcorn. Um, no, no. Oh, yeah, what do you all think uh, is going to be happening in this next bit? You've got hooded, <sighs> silent figures, music, flagpoles that shoot popcorn out of them. What do you all think? Okay, there, so right now, there's a yeah. question of what I think think is going to happen and what I'm hoping is going to happen. It's a difference of a, it's a very big difference right now. <laughs> I'm hoping this is just going to be a nice, fun, family friendly experience. You know, it's a circus. What? I said, of course. What I'm expecting to have happen is pain, misery, and something even worse than the, uh, the, the those one, uh, the, the knock, 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 tap, tap, tap. <laughs> knock, knock, knock. Tap, but that's tap, the thing tap. I didn't bring up, but yeah, you raise a very good point. There's like, yeah, the last time we had colorful flags and stuff going through, we had the freaking, you know, Alabaster Gleam with their freaking, like, zombie Pokemon go through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, you, and you lot are just freaking eating popcorn from the sky. And I feel like <laughs> I'm the only sane one around here. You all have to admit, though, I don't think any of you know what to expect. No, no, we don't. At all. No. <laughs> that's, a, that's a beautiful thing. It's like, you know, there's just like... I, like, I don't think any of us would expect it. Oh, yeah, there's a giant burst of popcorn from, from like, the top of the flags. Like... Completely, like, yep, yeah, that just caught me off guard. That's what I rolled on the weather table, so I integrated it in. To be fair, it makes a lot of sense, though, and I'm glad it did. It does. It was just like, okay, I rolled. Huh, raining food. Hmm. Oh, popcorn from the flagpole. That sounds like a good idea. And it works perfectly with the with the um, mood I'm trying to develop here. Your mood of terror? You gotta admit, I'm really good at crafting terror. Yes, <laughs> yes, you are. Just the knock, knock, knock. <laughs> just wait. Months from now, I'm gonna pull that one out of my hat, and you all are just gonna go, oh no. You're just like, okay, we're just gonna turn tail and run. Turn tail and run. <laughs> now, It'd be like, at that point, hopefully, we're strong enough to fight. No turn tail and run. Know. They did rip apart that porch. You almost died. That's ah, okay. He's already dead. Double dead. Yeah, I suppose that is a fear. Like, my, my kind of actual feelings on it is that, yeah. you know, since, you know, from the broader perspective, this was an introduction of a colorful character. I'm I'm personally feeling that what we're about to encounter is more benign than hostile. Okay. Just, you know, a fun, silly, colorful character who travels around might be developed later and might be either more helpful or more sinister but like this first kind of introduction we're going to have them it's just going to be generally neutral at worst and be but starts a little bit more skeptical especially considering that yeah wake up in danger chase out of a city you know go through these horrible ruins of you know basically the abandoned part of town you know, have giant monsters, caught with zombies, um, little moles that with knives that want to stab them. Um, another group that just got basically taken out uh, by a weird creature. 
Yeah, everything out here is not really lining up to be the most trustworthy, so Dart's definitely going in with a lot of suspicion, a lot of caution. Which is why he bapped um, Jet really hard when he tried to shove food down his mouth. Jet is normally very cautious. Uh, that is kind of his nature, but right now he, he he's just hoping. Jet's holding on to that hope, and he's also hungry. Like I personally, and I'm kind of putting that on Jet as well. Is I. I Plain rice is gross. <laughs> <laughs> rice is great going with stuff. But plain rice, no. And that's kind of the only thing that we've had is just that and hardtack. He is so happy for something tasty. Though it is rather interesting how things have turned from him being like, don't eat that orange berry. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was going like, to say. To like, shove food down the mouth. It's like, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. You're hungry too. <laughs> like, as I said, I hope I don't have to bap Jet for that decision. If I get freaking poisoned, yeah, you know who I'm going to be smacking. Yes, you have eaten my poison, and now I will sell you the antidote for a million poke coins. Lucian, shove, shove the popcorn in their mouth. My plan, it falls apart with but a single <laughs> smack of my popcorn. Yeah, I'm I'm leaning for I'm leaning towards and I'm also hoping for and optimistic for that. Yeah, it's, it probably would just lead to one of the situations where Dark can actually like properly unwind. Because mm -hmm. like I don't enjoy being the stick in the mud, but like Dart has a very good reason for being a stick in the mud right now. <laughs> He does. He definitely does. Damn it, I spent more money. We all do. What did you spend more money on? Train Simulator. How much have you even played of it? I played four hours of it. Rygon? Yes? This is now an intervention. We no. care about you. We want help you me. to be happy. And that's exactly what we're doing right now, is trying to help you. Help you are me. a fantastic friend, and we don't want to see you get hurt by your purchases and overspending on an addiction. Because that's what it is. It's an addiction. <laughs> help me. Ooh. A train. Are you really getting another one already? No. But wow. They are all on a they're all on fucking sale. I don't wow. really want to get them. My my collecting is forcing me to. Bro. You are stronger than your addiction. A woo. That is true. I'm gonna hug that Amos. Uh, no hug for Jet? No hug. Jet violated my consent. That's fair. Ow, Jaffer. Ow, Jaffer. Jaffer, no, please. Beating me won't do anything. That's a Jaffy. Money. Ah! No, you guys need to do the love explosion like so. 
Yeah, hey, love explosion. Beat him. It's like baby kisses. Baby kisses are gross. <laughs> I had younger siblings. It. I know. <laughs> yeah, for I have money, kind of. Though I will admit, I've spent more on this game than I intended. We're gone. So that's why I'm going to be playing more of it right now, so that way I get at least some of my money's worth. <laughs> I do also need to update my dungeon draft. I need to get some more of that stuff. Glacier, Glacier, Glacier. <laughs> I apologize, Seda, for violating your consent with food. Please don't hate me forever. Duke. Dart will remember this. Are, are you looking at the stream? The Martin is fierce. My apology hey, has been rejected. Alright, I know how to make it up to you. Time to get art for you. Ah! <laughs> it's the only way. Oh. Right? It is the only way. Ah. Oh, you just In fact, I'm talking him. with Dexter right now. Choose violence. See, we're trying to stop Rygon from overspending by beating him up. Crazy Rob. Come. Also, speaking of Dexter, I need to send something to you. Them. Mm -hmm. Oh. Paws are looking a little cold there. You need Paul socks. Please God. And then somebody put you in jail. What's your wrong? Jaffer's just trying to protect our friend. Place your troops, everybody. Also very nice, Ada. Oh, it's going all right. Just working on a penguin ex enclosure at the moment. We'll put Rygon in it soon enough.
You okay over there, Wernie? And Seda? Yeah. You've gone rather quiet. I am doing well, though. I am starting to wind down. I have taken my melatonin. Oh. I will say, uh, be careful using that uh, every night. I don't know if anybody's told you, but it does lose its effectiveness. Melatonin? Yeah. No, it's natural. It's still, uh, your body, the more, if you use it like every night, it does uh, cause your body to basically get used to it, and thus it doesn't work as well. I, I'll be honest, I have a hard time believing that because your body makes melatonin. It's just if what I've can... been... It's what I've been That's told fair. by it, doctors multiple times. If if you can like find a research article or something like that for for me, I'll be fully on board. But like, I, don't they, know, I have a hard time believing that. Basically, the only thing they put on the warning side is that they they only recommend you don't use it for more than two months at a time with at least, uh, but give yourself at least a week break in between. Okay, then uh, that puts a bit more strength on Zim's argument. Yeah, I, I just know that I've gone to sleep doctors before and asked about it because I definitely struggle to get a proper night's sleep. <laughs> if you guys couldn't uh, notice. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And uh, oh, uh, give yeah, you can change the title to Chugga Chugga Choo Choo. Let's play Train Sim World Three. I just have that ability to just fall asleep whenever anywhere i have the ability to fall asleep even when i'm doing <laughs> <laughs> that I... like narcolepsy. I am incredibly jealous of people with the ability to just fall asleep for me it is a massive process to fall asleep yeah but also to me just i will just fall asleep you know, sitting for too long, not doing anything, I'll just fall asleep. <laughs> We've noticed. <laughs> yeah, and I'll hear, hear a chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to go back to work on Monday. Ugh. Same. Changing my schedule, my work schedule is going to suck. Yeah, but overall, I think it'll be better for you. I think so. It's just still going to suck. I wish I had four days off instead of three. Oh, I, mean, I wish I was rich enough I didn't have to work. But that's just me. Same. I, I, I was going to be like, you know, you're, most people would consider you lucky to be <laughs> to have three days off. Yeah, your I only get two days off. Your boss lets you have three days off yeah because i have a master's degree you know it could be worse I work you, for this shit you, you could be me and have no days off well i mean you could have a bunch of days off you'd just be homeless <laughs> thanks for reminding isn't me that, isn't that <laughs> isn't that everybody <laughs> yes <laughs> I mean, nobody is forcing anyone I mean, to do anything. I mean, you I mean, technically I mean, could have as many days off as you want. I mean, by that logic, the secret of immortality is just not dying. <laughs> but no, oh, I got to where I'm at because I worked fucking hard for it. You don't get oh, a. You don't get the bastards and shit by sitting <laughs> on your laurels. <clears throat> yeah. I still can't decide what I want to go to college for. Mm. Um, nom nom. I wish oh, I were still... 
Go ahead. I'm going to bed. Bye. Good night. Nighty night. See you. Because I'm, I'm trying to make sure I'm getting keeping a proper rhythm so I don't need the melatonin in the future. Okay. Bye forever. Bye forever. Go get him, Jolene. You have nothing on your own disability? I'm sorry, Corbin. I'm sorry. Now I'm going to play the choo-choo. Choo-choo. Yep, you sure, beans sure. all have a wonderful night, Rygon. Thank you again so much for the session and everyone. Hey, thank you. For... Thank you for coming on in and playing. You're the one who makes the game. Yep. And you beans all have a wonderful night. Keep them being awesome, wonderful friends. And I oh. will chat with you all later. You Bye. think of me as a friend? Oh, he's already gone. Yeah. No need for that negative self-talk. Ow! What was that for? Friendship. <laughs> Hi again. <laughs> Have a good night. Mm. Yeah, sleep well. What is going on in my chat over here? Uh, so we got Jaffer here from the Australian Nurse Support website. Melatonin doesn't cause withdrawal or symptoms of dependence, unlike other sleep medications. It also doesn't cause a sleep hangover, and you don't build up a tolerance to it. In other words, it doesn't cause you to need more and more as time goes on, which is a hallmark of addiction. Okay. I just know that I've been told that any form of sleep aid, uh, you build a tolerance to it. Because I was asking. I was trying to find something. Is what a feat you can get in Pathfinder time frame? And I normally don't fall asleep until I uh, have sat there for quite a while doing random things, trying to fall asleep. Ooh. Joke. Good night, Rygon. Good night. Sleep well. What? Are you going to bed or? No, oh, I just heard him yawning, so. Oh. I guess I'm going to bed. Hmm. <laughs> Bedtime. But then I'll be. Uh... Buddy. Quickly, if you want me to stay up, you have to say, stay up, Rygon. Stay Quickly, up, Rygon. Before the sleep takes me. Uh, Rygon, stay up. Me. Rygon, stay up. Stay Rygon, up, stay up. No oh, shit. I'm awake now. <laughs> Please don't do that again. <laughs> was it really loud? It was, it very was loud. terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but I got I got him to wake up. Yeah, I'm awake now. <laughs> you okay? I, I didn't expect to be that loud. <laughs> oh hey, I can make the water black if I want. Yeah, you or can. Red. Or any other color. But I want to hide the stupid little pegs. Why can I not hide those? They look... In a simulation? You know, I'm actually not too concerned about that, Corbin. 
One of my personal beliefs is that at some point I will wake up in a form that I so enjoy. Not necessarily like a, oh, this, like, this is my fake body or whatever like that, but just the way reality is and the way it seems to be constructed is that at some point it will cycle through to, you know, something different. I hope that being a Glaceon would be actually kind of cool. Well, yeah, but you'd be very cool case, as a Glaceon. Like yeah, right? But if it doesn't, it's not like I'm going to know. I'm going to be dead. The only truth that I personally know is we are alive. That's it. That's the only thing that we can really demonstrate. So therefore, it stands to reason that, well, we can be alive again at some point. We were alive once, after all. I really need to pay more attention to the chat, camouflage the pigs. But how do you suggest I camouflage them, time frame? And I do pay attention to the uh, chat. Sometimes I miss things, but... Gotta pay more attention. All the attention. Solipsism? Have you heard of the concept? I'm not familiar. Uh, it seems familiar, but I'm not sure what it... Uh, not sure where I remember it. Solipsism is the philosophical idea that only one's mind is sure to exist. Ah... I don't know if I agree with that. I do think that, you know, there are other perspectives out there. I certainly think that this configuration in my mind exists, and it could certainly exist again. But does that mean it's the only thing that exists? Nah, that seems a bit self-centered. I'm really hoping the penguins can get up that hill. If not, I guess we'll find out. If I can alter the color of the water, then I can make the water match the peg colors? Uh, the, I mean, the peg colors are gray and are almost black. I don't think that would quite work out very well. At the least, I do have to get somewhat close to see them. But... No. I ate all my chicken nuggets. Like, it looks like this is the uh, furthest away I can be before they start showing up. Or the closest I can be. I can live with it. It's not ideal, but I can live with it. Ah, move them to their new home! Wait, what do you mean multiple unassigned animal problems? What are you going on about? I haven't They're set up... Werni is preventing other animals from breeding? What? Where? Where right. Bro. Apparently, you are stopping other animals from breeding. Ah, there's too many, uh... There are too many arctic foxes. How many can I have it? Have. You are now elderly, and so for some reason that means you won't let others breed. What uh, animal is he? He's uh, an arctic fox. Uh, foxes, um, 
will tend to have like that alpha, like alpha yeah. male and female, and they'll be the only breeding pair. So that's what's going on. Am I gone? How do I get rid of this rain? I need to figure out how to turn on the wipers. <laughs> you don't. You have to suffer. Very silly foxos. And, and until you turn into a Vaporeon. So, I am allowed to have up to eight adult arctic foxes. I currently have 19. Zim. <laughs> I'm not putting them to sleep, time frame! Gosh! Get the Vaps rain stops being a problem? Fair enough. All right, let me change my model. Also, uh, Gip Gab, yeah. The, uh, the, the ship that I put together, the Zim Cube, it, it was definitely a lot of work. Just... Oh, apparently the train's going backwards. That's probably not a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why. I don't have anything, like, turned on. Now it looks like it's going forward. Yeah, because I, I, I turned it to go forward. Like, why are you going backwards? I just want to figure out how to turn on the damn... The turn on the wipers? Wipers, yeah. Because I can't see shit. Command, how do we turn on the wipers? Break overcharge? Well, I'm finding, like, everything but. Brightness, contrast... Oz. To the right of the driver's seat, you have a window, and above that is a cab light. The wiper controls are next to that light. Cool. Apparently. Uh, say again? Uh, to the right of the driver's seat, you have a window... And above that is a cab light. And the wiper controls are next to that. Cab light. Well, maybe it's a different train then. <laughs> I think so. Just press everything. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm just looking for one button. Yeah, every train is different, all right. All right, we've cleared out a bunch. We're clearing out a bunch of the uh, Arctic rows. Wernie, I apologize, but you are going to be uh, you. You are going to be rehomed. Oh, I'm just gonna have to do it myself. Just gonna have to just reach my arm out there and just go. <laughs> <laughs> is, there, is there no like control things? I'm not finding the stupid bud. Oh God. The cappies! What's happening with the cappies? No. Too many of them already! 
figure out how to turn on the horn. Found them. They were below the driver's seat. You know, <laughs> place you would <laughs> never expect them to be. Perfect. Now that I know where they're at, we'll restart the route. Well, actually, I need I need to choose a different route because this could I could be in an entirely different place than where I want to be. I am not putting them to sleep. Time frame. <laughs> they just mean to put them to bed. That's all it is. No. That is definitely not what is being meant here. Oh no, I didn't want that one. You go to the quarantine. You just get released to the wild already. Yes, to the wild, where you all can make little fuzzy pears. Oh, this rain's loud. Okay, the penguins are being relocated. The Arctic rouse. At least until you can you can field space for them. I'll put them into cryo sleep. That's not really an option here. I don't know. I kind of want to let Werny uh, live the rest of his life here. Just not with all the others. All right, get out, Wernie. No, I'm not kicking Wernie out of the call. But you just said to. Nope, not out of the call. I'm getting mixed messages. Just out of life. N not, not that either. <laughs> Hmm, you probably have a little bit more space over here. But then we can set up a memorial for the Wernie when he passes. Life goals, right, Wernie? That's a bit depressing. <laughs> yeah, memorial! Memorial for the Arctic Rowl. I wonder how many train enthusiasts are on in the middle of the night. What? I said, I wonder how many train enthusiasts are on in the middle of the night. Uh... I mean, I think that is something you can actually look up. Brain enthusiasts? No, like how many people are playing that game. Oh, yeah, that's something I could probably look up. We're gonna make a small habitat over here.
where they can all run and play until their life is over. This is a horribly designed habitat. Yeah, I have six whole viewers. I have more views than every other TSW3 stream combined. That's because I'm so entertaining. <laughs> Obviously. Thank you for checking, GibGab. I appreciate it. I am handsome and pretty. That's like double the adorableness. Even if it did take me a second to find the wipers. <laughs> Time frame says you should uh, find something more meaningful to spend your hard earned money on than virtual trains like furry smut. Like what? Furry smut. Oh, I already get that anyway. I already got something <laughs> coming down the line. Screaming Death says buy more trains. No, it's gold get... that you're supposed to buy. I will only buy more trains if I actually receive some donations for them. <laughs> I can't afford to spend any more. I've spent as much as I'm willing to. We should get another pick together, Raycon. We should. They'll have to wait until my next paycheck, though. Yeah. yeah, seriously, if they want me to get more trains, come on into the chat. Feel free to toss me five bucks. I need more art. You need more art? Yeah. No, I won't argue with that. Feed Raw Zim's addiction. Oh no, my viewers went down to four. Wait, I lost why? people. What addiction are you feeding of mine? Probably art. Yeah, I do have an art. Oh, addiction. feed my addiction? <laughs> they meant me. Oh. Model trains the pre MTG and 40k money sink. Seda! I thought you were going to bed. But yes, I'm talking about wanting more art. I'm going to start making model trains. I do not have the space for model trains. What a lovely duo. Yes. We are like peanut butter. And a knife to spread the peanut butter. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, Gib Gab, uh, we went over this. I beat uh, Rygon on both fronts. With what? 
with, with the uh, addictions. Oh. I've got more games on Steam than you. That is true. Don't worry, I'm catching up. I bet I have more DLC, though. Maybe. No, not maybe, definitely. I like to get all the DLC for games when I pick them up. As you can very well tell with Train Simulator. I am finally in a position to pay back into the market. Yay! Hooray! Hoorah! Hopefully other people are actually online at this time to actually buy some of these. Kinda of sad I can't hear the thunder. interesting little detail when i went underneath the tunnel the rain actually or the, like the little underpass the rain actually stopped for the brief moment i went under it that's neat that's a nice attention oh. to detail yeah it is Why is the train shaking so much? Putting an Arctic fox in here. And we're going to so call cool. a woe type? Hello. There. The Golden Years exhibit. For when the animals are about to no longer be with us. Snuffy. But I'm only gonna do this for the uh, named ones. Like, where me? So, how did the chaos of uh, Poke Roll and all of that go? Because I, I, I bounced out a bit. Oh, uh, say again? How did the chaos of the Poke Roll and all of that go? I'll let my players say that. 
<laughs> All one of them that is still here. There's only one. I believe Wernie's fallen asleep. Oh, probably. <laughs> but it was really good. Hey. The build up sound scares you, Corbin. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have been continuing experimentations with the Barotrauma submarine stuffs. Uh, I heard. There have been some minor conflicts with mods, but otherwise all good and much progress has been made. I might even have something for uh, Jaffer later to pass along with them. So he'll be hoping. Too much power and speed. Now, not enough power and speed, you mean. <laughs> Invol it involved popcorn and siege weapons. Ah, oh, now that is impressive. Yes, yes, it did. <laughs> We're going up a mountain. Oh, crap. Right, I forgot to actually take care of these, uh, or set up these penguins' habitat. And also my penguins are making a march up the mountain. So they're going up one too. We're gonna turn Woe into a penguin. What type of penguin? An African penguin. Because it's the only type I have. <laughs> To be fair, that is one of the slated ones for uh, drawing at a later point as well. Namely, due to all the barrow trauma we've been getting up to, figured it would be fitting enough to uh, add on. Got six hundred meters and eight ninety. I need to check my Zoopedia. African penguin. Unfortunately, I can only check for ninety nine of each, but it looks like that is enough for. 99 adults and 99 juveniles. More than that. So hopefully it'll be enough for 500. So I'm not certain if I'm actually going to ever get to that amount. <laughs> All right, food enrichment. Have a block of frozen fish. And a slow feeder up here. And we will also Oops. put this here. I mean, that's I missed. not... That's not deep enough? Yeah, objective complete. I only missed by like a billion miles. Hey, 
could be worse. You could have missed by two billion. True, true. Wait, is the game frozen? Okay, no, it's not. But it is time for Stream Raiders, so I should probably do that. Yay, Stream Raiders! Start the battle! And I will be right back. Right here. Uh, this chair looks like it's been sat in a lot. That's not a great sign. This chair's got too many farts in it. Uh, just listen to that nice, relaxing rain. Yeah, a lot of rain. Risk of rain. You're going to sleep, Corbin? Okay.
Uh, good night, Corbin. Thanks for coming by. Where Yeah, he's definitely asleep. Oh, we have been Should joined by a Rob. Row. Yeah, I joined with Rob. Oh, you uh, hadn't said anything prior to now. Yeah, you were talking, so I muted myself. Oh, fair enough. Hello. We try not hard not to interrupt each other in stream. Yeah, but still. <laughs> All right, let's unpause. We're gonna check if these things are actually in accept. Right, that's accessible, that's accessible, that is acceptable. This is not deep enough still. Okay, down to this one then. Oh, that's what's going on. I forgot I turned down the audio of the feed through because of uh, Fire Emblem earlier. Oh. Yes, don't stare too closely at the waterfall. The waterfall is fine. Don't look too close. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with the waterfall. Look, it's close. <laughs> waterfall from, from yesterday. Yeah, I finished it. I've got to go and have a look at that one. I think it's nice, aside from the uh, little effect things that pop up. That's not bad. Looks all right. Looks like a waterfall. Ooh, big stretch. From a distance. Ugh. Now my foxes are inbreeding? Why? Don't do that. Why not? <laughs> it's fucking it, gross. It, 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 it's... It's bad for them. That's why not. God, this thing is huge. Explain to me in extreme scientific detail why that is. Why Why it's bad? Why did this thing... Yes. Give I me mean, a lecture. Just look at, just look at Missouri. I don't know Missouri was made out of foxes. Has yeah. anyone told Hierobus this? Yeah, somebody should tell him. Inbred foxes. Uh, I'm pretty sure Hierobus already knows if it's made out of foxes. <laughs> oh. Our bus is probably responsible for it. Yeah. <laughs> so he needs to take responsibility for all the inbreeding. <laughs> Aww, I need to get a fox to you from here. Him. I need Good to luck. get more. It doesn't really make that much too. art anymore. Yeah. I got several pieces from him. He's great. Uh, I've never gotten any. I don't know any artists. I'm sure you know some. No. 
I don't know. I don't know anybody. Who are you people? Uh, I'm not an artist. I can tell you that much. Did you see my dungeon map <laughs> earlier? <laughs> that shit was pre-made assets and circles. <laughs> circles? Were they perfect circles? Some. Most of them were ovals, though. Oh. Uh. Don't worry, just call it modern art and you'll get rich. <laughs> now I'll just go nail a banana to a wall. Make it $5,000. But we all know when it comes to art like that, it's literally just essentially rich people money laundering their shit. <laughs> You're not wrong. Well, that's all, that's all high-end art is. I'm not saying it's like money laundering, but it's essentially a way for rich individuals to just be stupid um, with their money so that way they can avoid paying taxes and bullshit or whatever. The fun stuff. Yeah. yeah. Essentially, what I'm saying is it's shady. There we go. Yes, I do have incest foxes to deal with. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> Wipers off for the rest of the trip? Oh, fine. There, they're off. <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me I'm gonna get the last laugh, though. Maybe. So, Rob. Yeah. How you doing? Doing all right. And playing around in the Baratrauma character menu and seeing all the gigantic horrors of the deep. So, you're spoiling the game. Only the ones that. <laughs> A little bit. Um. It, I'm <laughs> yeah. I lag Hello so there. much, it's not like I'm going to get very far. No, Rob, no, Rob. We'll, we'll trim down the mod list and stuff. We'll start working again. And Rob We've will not already be playing with us at all. We've already managed to remove two of the deprecated ones that were causing the most damage. I mean, we did figure out that one of the reasons I couldn't load certain mods and was having troubles was no one just, no one explained to me how the mod list worked. Well, you like also never you just subscribe to it and it works. You also never came to join my sub, so that's not my fault. I wasn't talking to you, but okay. Zim has yet to pay me my ten Monopoly dollars for all the work I've done. <laughs> There was also a yeah, Asylophobia mob or something mod that was also out of date and uh, murdering the computer. <laughs> to, some, to everyone's uh, ex extreme relief. I'm just playing around with the base <clears throat> husk at the moment. Mm. It's fun, I like it. That is very good. Very, very good. Yeah. <laughs> well, why did yes. that have 
any deserving of evil laugh at all. <laughs> oh, God. I have no idea. Then why? I mean, why not? The habit not? may or may not be setting in. Yeah, I know it's setting in. Basically, when husk is just bright green. All I you mean, need to complete the unholy ritual of artistic late stage capitalism is AI generated NFT arts. <laughs> oh God. Ooh, God I could get a old version I, is horrifying. I love that it's still in the files though. I wonder what would happen if I went to some of those AI generators and put in some of the TF art I've got. <laughs> hmm. More theft? Like they can't get them from public domain anyway. Oh, well, they're not in public domain, but they can steal them. Anyway, I'm wondering what I can get from them. Oh, are you talking about s selling them or? No, I'm talking about what art can be generated. Oh. They want. They want to. Im uh, put in the uh, TF art and see what happens. Yes. Oh, so that's where I've wound up. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've buried another transformer in the mountain and I <laughs> not sure exactly where uh wasn't sure where exactly it was. It wound it up. <laughs> but it wound up somewhere. Damn it. Problem is, it's really difficult to navigate the camera underground like that. Oh, I can imagine. Actually, time frame, I'm pretty certain that people have already done that. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the real reason why they ask people not to put explicit stuff through the uh, generator. Because that starts to bleed into other things. <laughs> That's their problem, not mine. <laughs> Absolutely so. <laughs> Loading passengers. Oh, we've still got a ways to go. I think.
Ah, this is so relaxing. It's like truck driving simulator without the fucking traffic. <laughs> All the way until the car is on the crossing. Nah. Sounds like a personal problem. Oh, gosh. I had one individual who came in earlier today and they were like, I disagree with you getting a mod that renames your skills. I'm like, okay. I'm not going to change them, but okay. Nom nom nom. I have been muted for I don't know how long. Oh, I was wondering why you were so quiet. I have been sitting here responding to people, and I don't even know when I muted. You haven't oh. spoken in about 10 minutes. Ah, my bad. <laughs> well, yeah, but, but fair enough. I'm still getting used to this new mic. <laughs> But, uh, time frame is asking if it was a Skyrim mod. Are you talking to me? Yes. About the right. person that was asking about your mod. 
or saying that about, they thought it was weird that you have a mod that doesn't oh, uh that? yeah that i thing. mean i guess it's weird no the, the person that came in and was going like you thinking you were weird for having whatever it was the uh yeah, like a renamed mod. Yeah. Or a mod that renamed skills. I'm like, I don't know. I just put it on because I thought it was neat. <laughs> Why do I got to justify shit? Like, I'm not going to change it just because uh, such and such dislikes it. Well, you shouldn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> they, you know, they could go fuck themselves as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to double the prices that they put on here. I'm not going to be one of those people that just charges an outrageous amount for everything, but I am going to put them up for a bit. More than the uh, default price. Yeah, look at this sad individual just standing in the rain, head down. Not even an umbrella. They couldn't even give the AI umbrellas. So some of them definitely aren't worth much. Okay, people think that my stuff is too low still? Okay, I'll increase my prices. There, still think it's too low? <laughs> Way too low. Clearly. Oh, right. I never added a path here. Uh, there we go. Now you all can exit up here. <laughs> They're supposed to be able to walk through this exhibit and they didn't actually have the ability to. That's why the train was going so slow. I had the parking brake on, apparently. <laughs> well, I'll do it. Yeah. It, it made for a smooth ride, honestly. <laughs> Alright. Secure. Wait, what is this? Ah, that's that. I'm already dealing with it. Security! Ooh, we need some more... Uh... There we go.
What fins were I, was I using? Are those really what I decided to use? I guess so. <laughs> I don't like them. We're gonna replace them. Let's go with the New World theme. There's a lot of trains here. Create a torture device for those guys, for these guys, for the people? What kind of torture device are you talking about? Now the zoo just needs more Martins to be complete. Oh, I wish. If only. Still working on that. Yay, I got gold. I still don't know what the levels are for. Like, I'm level 777. It's like, okay, what, what does that do for me? Magic. AKA nobody knows. Congratulations. I'm gonna actually check. What's up? You congratulations, you have traveled seven hundred seventy seven miles, maybe. <laughs> I'm still curious what kind of a uh, torture device you want, Yeezys. <laughs> what kind of torture device you think I can even give, for that matter? In-game, you cannot do much with it. So the levels are just there just for, I don't know, bragging? Probably. How you doing, Jaffer, by the way? How's Raven? How's Ahsoka? Yes, how are they? Level 777 lets you have the true experience of a multi-level marketing ploy involving NFT trains. <laughs> according to time frame. <laughs> <laughs> congratulations, uh, Rygon. Enjoy. Yay! 
Can I exchange it for money? No. 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 Okay. I'm going to take a quick second to light down my laser. If I fall asleep, then fare thee well. Fair enough. He was never seen again. Unit lost. Unit lost. I think I've replaced all the trash bins in my park. Someone let me know if anybody in my chat says something. Please, thank you. Will do. Lost in multi-level marketing scheme. <laughs> I feel like switching to the professor for the rest of the evening, which I will be ending after this next Stream Raiders battle, everybody. Unfortunately, I have to. No. I got enough. early day tomorrow. Oh, oh no. Sundays are my early stream days. Congratulations, it's Sunday. You can start now. <laughs> <laughs> really, Rob? <laughs> Actually, wait, well, no, no, it no. is Sunday yeah. here. Yeah. He's yeah. right. I am right, yeah. <laughs> it's no longer the fourth. It is indeed the fifth. Right, I forgot to give them shelter. <laughs> African penguin. 
Ow. <laughs> you alright? Yeah, I just bumped my hand. Stop bumping yourself. That's our job to throw things at you so you don't have to. <laughs> it's gonna happen regardless. Oh, hiss. Viewers. Hello, Kitsu! How are you? How was your stream? And welcome in, everybody! Is the temperature good for them? It is. Oh. These are apparently not good for them. Where are those in their actual habitat? Oh. <laughs> apparently the stuff under the ground is considered part of their habitat. Ah. Oh. Great. I suppose they could dig down to it, yeah. No, they're penguins! How are penguins going to be digging anywhere? Using their beak like a trenching tool. No. It's like a spike. They drill into the ground with it. Over 12 hours, lots of games and lots of crashes and game switching? Interesting. And you're very sleepy. Hey there, Coda Rose Pop. Welcome in. Penguin, penguins normally drill the, drill into the ground. They can't do it in the natural habitat because it's frozen solid. In soft dirt, they can they can dig. Well, we're giving them a bunch of sand now. Yeah. They will be as happy as penguins in sand. I think we got them set up well. Thank you for the head pats, Hex Slash. Also surprised to see you up this late.
Horny. He's so old, but he's still so cute. Even though he's rolling in his own poop. Okay. No more zooming <laughs> in. I have your attention. Not to disturb and counter what you say. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> something like that. We'll just include all of this. Why not? Rouse. Cappy World Domination. <laughs> the Newt Newt Empire, because somebody redeemed for that to be named that before. Newt Newt. For reasons. Newt Newt. Nation. Actually, we're just going to select all and set that. Yeah, we're going to hire ourselves some extra... Caretaker, keeper, mechanic. Vet. Four of each of those. We've got enough money I can afford it now, so yeah, let's get four of each and some extra vendors. funny when I get credit for uh, stuff and it's like, I didn't actually do anything there, but okay. Hey there, Mrs. No Doubt Fire. Welcome in. And thank you. I've been working hard on the zoo. We got our Newt Newt Empire that we just added for our penguins. 
And then over here is a solo exhibit for our elderly Wernimal, who is, uh... I want to make sure that he is, uh... Able to be memorialized. I don't even know what is going on in the background of my, uh... With the music right now. Keeper, would you please go over there and actually feed my penguins? Get all these traded away. Hopefully to somebody. I really wish I could put in a longer time frame for them. Like, I can understand why they don't let you, but at the same time... For somebody like myself that plays kind of in the middle of the night... It, it kind of winds up being a situation where I'm like, I don't really have a whole lot to do that I get to do because I'm stuck trying to work with all this. And hey there, Jalen Fulf. Welcome in. I do not remember my Pokemon Ranch. So when I said that, I, when I put that as the title, I was more referring to both the fact that we had a Pokemon uh, Mystery Dungeon. Uh, our, we had our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon tabletop campaign tonight. And then, uh, you know... It would be fun to have an actual zoo tycoon kind of thing, but Pokemon. Hmm, what kind of animal do I want to put in next? Ooh, some... Oh, God, why is... We'll go ahead and adopt that one. Ah, here we go.
I know, right, Jalen? Or if only Nintendo would actually like, give us PC games instead of only, you know, Nintendo console games. Do you imagine the stuff we could do if they let us have mods on PC games? I mean, hell, for that matter, look at what we've already done without their, you know, legal approval. <laughs> Let's see. What kind of animal do I want now? Let's just scroll down the list and pick something random. Not King Penguin. Ooh. Zebras require a bit of space, but maybe. Oh, Yeems. Holy crap, they require a lot of space. They can have one male and up to 29 females. Okay. Okay, gonna hop off. Good night, Zim. Good night. Good night. Ooh. Red pandas. We can have two of them. Huh? Oh, what? Sure. We'll go with red pandas for our next exhibit. Actually, what's how much space do they need? Oh, not much. They require practically no space. Okay. Red Panda. I'll adopt that one. And this one's not too expensive. Two adults, three juveniles. We need greater than 6.6 .6 feet for boundary. And only 250, 250 meters. Neat. Now where to stick them?
You know? Right here would be work. Right in this area. Now, we want to go this way. <clears throat> they may not require much space, but that doesn't mean I can't give them as much as possible. Well, within reason. It's weird, but I'm going to live with it. All right. You're what? I'm just about ready to get back up and continue. Yay! All right, how much space is this? Terrain. A hell of a lot more than they actually need. Holy crap. I thought this was... I, I look at this little exhibit and I'm like, this is so tiny. And yet, apparently, it's a lot more than they actually need. trying to keep to more realistic sizes on this zoo because I know that was something that I was I was vastly overestimating how much space the uh, animals actually needed in the last one Okay, let's just do this then. Which if this is too big, that's okay. I can live with a slightly bigger one. Uh, what are you doing, game?
Eh, we'll make do. This'll work. This was not what I thought that this would be, but neat. Yeah. Oops. I don't know what we're talking about. I'm talking about the curved barrier top thing. the grid. Why is that trying to do that? All oh, right, so I've got that on. Overcompensating much? <laughs> oh, I placed down some pathing to, uh... uh... Let's go back down to that. Smooth this out. I, I wanted it to... The path to, uh... Flatten the terrain! And it's like, and we're going to add another... 50 feet because we can. But there we go. We got it nice and even now. Now they are going to require some stuff in here. We'll go run Stream Raiders in a bit here. First, I want to finish this up. Did my chat say anything? Uh, no. Oh, come on, chat. You disappoint me. I'll go to sleep for 40 minutes and you all just do nothing. <laughs> I mean, Gib Gab said lies. Oh, fair enough. What do you mean, satisfy the African penguin water area requirement? That should be satisfied already. That is already required, or er, covered. What are you going on about? Literally, their requirement is 147 meters squared. I have 
811 meters squared. Their deep water area requirement is 14 meters. I have 585. It is comfortable. Uh, 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 uh. The game is giving me a challenge to satisfy their water area requirement, and it is satisfied. The game is being dumb. I'm looking at him. Ugh. Maybe it's just a timing thing. Damn well better be. Alright, nature. Zoopedia first. Asia and Taiga are temperate. We'll go with temperate. What habitat? Ugh. Get over there. I just checked you. How did you go from 97% cleanliness to 54 in a matter of seconds? Did you all freaking <laughs> poop at the same time? Are you enjoying yourself, Sid? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you're enjoying yourself. Would you like some cake? Somebody spiked their food. Rob, why did you spike the Cappy's food? What what did I spike it with? Laxatives, I'm oh. guessing. Uh, no, that doesn't sound like me. I don't know. I think that sounds just like you. No. I'm far more the sort that would spike it with something more fun. Like what? You'd probably give them fertility potion, wouldn't you? No, As if no. they even need that. <laughs> yeah, they totally haven't been on that for this whole time. <laughs> I'm mildly, mildly amused that you went straight for that option for me, but okay. Well, you said something much more fun, and you you did not elaborate, so that's what I decided you probably uh, did. Fun. Huh? Walking, stumbling fun, rather than... Oh, you're going to get them fun. drunk. Yeah. I am British. Since, since we lost the Empire, that's become our national pastime. Just getting drunk? Yeah. Fair enough. We, we may... God, in, the, re, in recent years, um, major damage has been done to one of our roads, and we've just sort of diverted traffic around it. Uh, at the same time, a construction truck hit the local pub and took out 
the um, bathroom, the, the, the toilets annex, the storeroom wall, and part of the main wall of the actual pub. And um, the public got the funds together super fucking fast, and within three weeks, the entire building had been fully reconstructed and brought back up to. Uh, oh, of and course. And back up to Spick and Span, because the local community was like, protect the pub. <laughs> The driver did not stay with the company. Uh, more from external pressure of locals going, you're not working on this building site. We don't trust you around our pub. Very protective of our drinking. <laughs> Oh, which, which American comic was was it that said that in America he he has a, he's an alcoholic with a drinking problem when he came over to England he found out he was a lightweight <laughs> what tiles are oh. There. Their shelter can double as climbing area. Maybe. Oh yeah, whoa, I have equal parts sadness and joyful anticipation. My cake yeah, yeah, is completely yeah. untouched. I have cake to- I have cake left. Woo. But at the same time, it is completely untouched. What are you playing and going on about? Oh, and I'm playing house flipper. I'm installing a shower. And then what is this about cake? Number go up yesterday. Oh, why didn't you say so? I stuck it on my Discord. Okay, and I, also stuck it on my... I don't know. I didn't see you yesterday. <sighs> I'm sorry, but I have a lot of friends, a lot of people that I look at and, you know, talk to and stuff. I'm not going to notice <laughs> when you just update your Discord status. Either way, happy birthday. But seriously, I've had annoying issues with that before. What? Oh, somebody getting really mad at me because I... They posted some obscure post about this, that, or the other thing, and I didn't notice, and how dare I not notice? Well, that's stupid. I know. No, I, I didn't make a massive fuss about it this year, so. But you still told Woe and not me? I didn't tell Woe. Woe looked at my Discord. E. And fucking messaged me. <laughs> I, I woke up to a message from Woe. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not great with birthdays, but on the occasion that I might notice, I will attempt to acknowledge. Yeah. Ah. I'm not <laughs> Though there was a stroke of luck, but still.
What are you working on, Evolution? There. A neat little thing, I think. Okay, that does not count for climbable area at all. Understood. But it does count for the hard shelter requirement. So at least there's that. Gosh, these, uh, these things are very picky. Then again, I suppose they are pandas, even if they're red ones, so it makes sense. They ain't sneaky worth a day. You're what? They ain't sneaky. Sneaky? I didn't say anything about sneaky. Yeah, you did. I'm talking about pandas. Picky. I said uh, picky. Huh. Picky. <laughs> picky panda. Are you okay, Vargon? No. Go to sleep. No. I paid too much money, must play Train Simulator forever. I can't hear what he's saying. He said that you paid too much money, must play Train Simulator forever. Uh. I'm not gonna question this. I'm not gonna question the streamer's game choice. Hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Did you just say it's daft? <laughs> Are you talking about my stream? I think Rock is. What do I do? He's questioning your game choice. Brain simulator? It's just a game. I, I said no such thing. I yeah, think. you did. I heard it. I got headphones on. Oh, <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> I haven't, so I assume everyone else's audio is as terrible as mine. Yeah, it turns out I got a really good pair of headphones. I can hear your heart beating right now, and it's going up a little bit, along with your guilt. Eh, I haven't got any guilt on us, right? He is British. Exactly. Yeah, how that museum turned him out for you. Oh, it's turning out great. We're stopping, uh... I think the last thing was, um... Zim, did you see, I posted it in your channel, actually, um, the dogs, the little dog statues. That had I, um, things like, they're, they're something like 5,000 year old little dog statues, and they have the dog's names engraved on them, like, Biter of his foe, and Loud is his bark. And one hmm. of the comments on, on that one was, um, why aren't those in a... Why aren't those in their home country? And the quest and the answer is is yes, and their home country should be a hundred percent allowed to destroy their own history. That's why we don't have multiple other things. It's in Iraq. Afghanistan. Yeah. Mo Brooklyn? Mo most of the most of the most of the Middle East, yeah. A 
a lot of what's in uh, some some of the stuff that we've returned has immediately been destroyed by the government we've returned them to. So we're keeping stuff now. Until That's fair. On... Yeah. So our, our museums are going very well. That's good. See, we can find a reason to be the good guys in anything. And if only you all could update your cooking. Couldn't actually hear that because I, because <laughs> I, I nothing. Need to, you are on the funny number at the moment. I need to turn you up. There we go. Oh no, Gib, you Zim, Gib Gab was talking to me and nobody said anything. Oh, whoops. Well, maybe you should have paid more attention. I was asleep. <laughs> you said you weren't gonna sleep. I lied. I do that a lot. Did we lie? Yeah, and guess who's on top of the world? It ain't, well, anyone else. Only from your perspective. What was that? I I I couldn't hear you over my you know amazing economy. <laughs> so what if all of our rich people are getting it? <laughs> Thank you for the follow, George. Oh, the, the more you talk, the more you. Talk. Undermining your own argument. <laughs> That's the funny part. Yeah, you see Independence Day as a big win. We see it as a lucky fucking escape. Always when it, you when you said that, it kind of reminded me of like, what is the most frequent holiday in the world, and it's <laughs> getting independence from the Brit. <laughs> <laughs> like what was that last count like 73 or so countries have that as a holiday yeah i have no opinion or knowledge of these matters yes yeah. uh, most good, most of them are that's probably a good stance to take for your viewers yes yeah, well, most of them are just from modern politics, where it's just like, hey, we want to be free, and, you know, British government's like, well, all right, it's not like we can stop you. British like, we want to stop you've you. You've been free this entire time. We haven't interfered in ages. Yeah, pretty much. It's just like, now we're just going to make it official. You tagged our title onto you this entire time. We haven't done shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. It was very amicable. Because with everybody except the Scottish. <laughs> <Some reason. laughs> the the Welsh are too indoctrinated to uh, argue. I have a friend that might disagree with you on that. Yes, I thought you were having no opinion. Huh? Oh no, he doesn't have an opinion. He has a friend who has an opinion. Um, that's how you get around it. Yeah, yeah. Cyrus, <laughs> who comes by every now and then, uh... He's Welsh. Oh, good. I do like the Welsh accent. It's very nice, very pleasant to listen to. Especially when they speak that gobbledygook. <laughs> Did you oh, just go into all their territory. life? <sighs> hey, you keep complaining that I don't come around to visit your uh, your your stream and your channel or nothing. Often enough, here I am. <laughs> oh. Enjoy. <laughs> I wonder how many. I wonder how many British museums are dedicated to Welsh artifacts. What Welsh artifacts? That's what I was thinking. I mean, 
you have to go back a couple of thousand years to find Welsh artifacts. Um, Why is why is that called a reverser? Because it goes backwards. Except I said it to go forward. <laughs> You're defeating the well, get get one that goes forwards then, rather than something that's called. Yeah, so why is it called, called just a reverser? It's got two directions. <laughs> it's living up to its name. It's only so half living up to its well. name. I like this control desk, it's much more simpler. Even has a little torch. I wonder what PZB mode is about. Oh, Zim, I found out you could actually leave the train while it's running. So I oh. left and my train sped off without me. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Uh, what do you have to do with after that? Restart. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I suppose the worst part is you are supervised. You're streaming. You've got chat supervising you. <laughs> Maybe you want to do a very good job. Wow, this is a slow ass train. Like, I've been going the speed of mud. Wipers are on this one. Ah, oh, there they are.
Why is this train moving so slow? I did. It's you on max. Oh, there we go. Now we're moving. What did you do? Um, I I whacked the the th I I whacked the little controller until it went faster. <laughs> zoom zoom zoom. Glorious. Yo, George, how you doing? My name's Rygon, and this is my channel. How are you doing? You good? Good. But I got this question for you. What is your favorite food? A comfortable stop. What kind of a train do you think I'm running here? A well operated one. On paper. We start and we stop, and that's all we need to know. Yeah. Good, good. Acceptable. All right. Got this set up. They are satisfied with the plant and climbing coverage. I'm going to make it uh, taller just to be on the safe side. Never mind, it is apparently obstructed. Fine, hopefully they don't escape. Escape, little ones, please. <laughs> <laughs> please, Inch Tyranny, come apparently... to the stay. Apparently the keeper is just not going to give them food. Ow! Okay. Well, I'd be fine. Feed him up. He got bumped. Hey, some of my Arctic foxes were purchased. <laughs> Funds received. Dead. As in you were selling Arctic foxes? Uh, trading them away for, uh, conservation credits. Oh, I see, to the fur dealers. To the what? Nothing. Hmm. Oh, they're going to other zoos. Uh -huh, that's what they're they're going to the little farmhouse up the road. Wait. I'm a furry. What the fuck? I am? George. George, I think we came to a re revelation here. <laughs> oh man, I got silver. I gotta actually replay the tutorial. It says so. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know, George. It must be true. I mean, if it says so right there, it has to be true. I mean, it it, it 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 makes it makes just too much sense. I've got an avatar, a non-human avatar. It says furry, and I'm saying I'm a furry. God, there's too many clues. I, dude, I think I'm a furry. I'm so sorry. 
Oh, it's okay. <laughs> we like you anyways. Woo! Hey, well. I'll take that. That's better than okay. Hello, Roblox. I am not going to try and pronounce that first part of your name. Hey, why are they stressed? Like, they don't know that there's anybody out there looking at them. Call you QK? Well, hello there, QK. You should have put your name as QT, though. Just saying. I gotta be honest, like, that name is probably long gone. It costs 1,000 Bobux? Bobux. I'm moving this train at the speed of mud. It is the month of mud, so I suppose that's reasonable. Yes. To max speed. Oh no, I think I scared away George. Oh no. Oh no, he will be missed. Anyway. Yeah, let's, we're going. More speed. I said more speed, more speed, more speed. Why, thank you for the follow, QK. Welcome to the Rigonian community. I hope you enjoy your stay. Alrighty. Got a nice little setup here. Lots of Lots of uh, benches right there because, well, they would have just walked up a very large hill and could probably use some rest. I would just buy those barrels you could roll back down with. <laughs> I was un unaware that such a thing existed in my park. Get your black. Black market barrels here, people. Quick, quick, down the hill. <laughs> Medical insurance not provided. <laughs> Wait. No power there? Really? Okay. There we go. They think prices are prices are too low, huh? 
vastly. Sorry for the song. Oh, you're doing fine. That's what they're there for. They're there to have fun. What passengers? There are no passengers. Why not? This door doesn't even open. The wrong door opened. <laughs> what kind of a train do they think I'm running here? Okay, I'm going to hope that that is enough for them. But that is it for this evening's stream, unfortunately. Ooh. Rygon, how much longer are you going? Forever. I'll be going for a while. Are you sure? I mean, you've already yep. fallen asleep once. Well, yeah, so so I can keep going. He's recharged now. Ah. Yay, I got gold. Well, I'll see who is streaming then. Well, keep going. Well, what are you talking about? I am going to still be streaming. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you ask me that and then just go, ah, I'm just going to go to somewhere else. All right, whatever. Go. go Thank you, everybody, somewhere. for joining us today for Planet Zoo. Check out our website, zgfgaming.com. We've got links for our Discord, Telegram, Twitter, Patreon, and more. They're on the website as well as down in the description below through our link tree. Thank you to my patrons, donators, and subscribers. It is because of your support that I'm able to continue bringing these streams to you all. I seriously cannot do this without your guys' help and support, so thank you. Consider becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash zgfgaming. It is one of the best ways to support the channel, though you can also do so by simply sharing the stream around. But for now, thank you all so much for joining. You guys are incredible. I can't do this without you. And I bid you all the most fondest a duke. Have a great night, Bye. everybody. Yay! Nobody was going to realize the silliness I just did. <laughs> <laughs>